Okay, we're live. Hi, everybody. We are here with Dr. Laura Hughes, one of my closest friends. Um, the internet brought us together, although we're both Canadian, so we get to uh, meet sometimes when we're in the same areas. So Dr. Laura Hughes has studied naturopathic medicine and is really all about the gifts from the earth. And Laura is a global team leader for doTERRA. And I am so happy to be part of your doTERRA organization because Laura, and I actually just want to share a little quick thing in the intro because it's popping into my head. And Laura changed my whole perspective on an organization like doTERRA or a team building organization because I'd been on lots of them. I was young living. I was all the different things. And I, and I you know, I love the oils. But when I joined Laura's team, I really understood that being on Laura's team created value because Laura is incredible. So she's not only, you know, if you're someone who wants to know more about oils, not only is she an amazing resource with the content that she shares, but if you're really serious about taking your own health into your own hands, which is what Laura is all about, um, she really does the, or, the organizational side of doTERRA in her own style in a way that's classy and cool and fun and like it's it it literally gave me so much hope for organizations in general so Laura <laughs> literally is incredible for so many reasons but I can definitely say like she is an amazing team leader and her team is global and I'm so proud of her because I've seen oh, her grow in this building this alternative route so it's like a pretty big deal that we have Laura here today. And we're gonna talk about something that has been, since uh, Laura, you've sent me this message about what your idea was, I have seen this theme popping up all over the place. And really we're just gonna talk about like healing the micro and how that helps to heal the macro. So we're gonna go deeper into it with Laura. I didn't necessarily, you know, that was just the beginning of it. Um, but I'm not kidding you. Like I have seen little signs of that <laughs> everywhere I look this week. So. There, there's really some to it. So thank you, Laura, for being here. Oh, I'm so honored you invited me. Thank you for that, I'm like blushing. <laughs> <laughs> so do you wanna tell us a little bit about um, like that whole notion of healing the micro and the macro and how that can be useful and like, and what does that, what does that mean? Yeah, so I've been thinking about this a lot lately just in light of what's going on in the world. And if you think about it, there's always something big going on in the world and I think a lot of us can use that as an excuse for being stuck or for feeling hopeless. And, um, you know, if we're on this with you, we're somewhat woke and conscious and wanting to figure out how we can live our best lives and how we can, you know, use this energy that you talk about that's moving around us and, and ride that for, you know, our best earthly experience that we can have. Right. Um, but it can, it can feel hopeless sometimes. And it can feel like, even though there's so many of us, trying to go this, you know, trying to wake up the rest of the world, are we actually making any progress? And I've, I've fallen into that trap, which is why I can talk about it. <laughs> and, um, you know, it stalled my business. It's, 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 I've gone through periods of like, I'd say like depression, just because I'm like, I don't know my purpose. I can't do anything. And then I, like you spin into this cycle. Right. And um, I, I realized through my working on my own stuff and helping so many other people with doTERRA. So I consciously chose this business model because as a naturopath, I could only help so many people a day. And I just recognize that with a really, with a business full of integrity and a product that really works and cares about the planet, I could help so many more people. So in helping hundreds of people through essential oils in the past couple of years, um, I just realized that there's so many tools available for us and there's so much power in healing ourselves. And when we heal ourselves, being the micro, we can show up in the world in a totally different way that if enough people are doing that, it heals the macro, right? Macro being like everything going on in the world. And I think we just live in a really, like no other time in history has, like, so I, I just said, there's always bad stuff going on in the world. Like for his like whole, you know, the history of earth, there's always been something bad going on, but never in history before, I don't think have, humans haven't been forced to evolve, right? Like. Right. Like now we live in a time where humans don't really have to evolve anymore. We could we could live quite comfortably hiding. I could hide in my apartment the rest of my life and order Uber Eats every day and never have to live my dreams, right? Never have to talk to anyone again if I didn't want to. I could just sit behind my computer screen. So the people that um, have the courage to do the hard things and heal the macro in them, it just it kind of explodes into the micro. That's, that's what I've been playing with and I've seen amazing results with this. 
it's incredible because I feel like it's echoing. <laughs> I'm going to bring my very high tech drawing that I drew this morning, but it was this whole notion of like, our system was organized in this pyramid way. And obviously on the energetic perspective that shifted, but it's still around right now. And I was talking about how we can bridge the physical into the, no, the non-physical into the physical. And we can be like that spiral that kind of like breaks out the, so anyways, this image keeps popping into my head now. This is a really cool tattoo. I'm just like, <laughs> right? I see a tattoo in that. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. And it, and, um, I want to ask, because again, I know you're just such a well of, of resources. Like what are some of the, I know the gifts from the earth and the, and the earth is so powerful, but I wanted to know just a little bit, if it's okay, if you want to share, like what, cause you come from a medical background, you yeah. are, you know, you're from a medical background, which I mean, I am luckily, I don't know very much about the medical world and I am, but it feels like, you know, not so natural. Let's just say that. So I'd love to hear like how you get like, and it doesn't have to be a big long life story or anything, but I love how you've come from this like synthetic world of medicine into this like hands in the dirt, like traveling the world, like helping plant, you know, the things and seeing where these plants are coming from to create these um, high quality products. And yeah, do you want to share anything about that? Yeah. So before I, I studied naturopathic medicine, I did my PhD. So like I've been in the medical world for like a long time. I was studying cancer, um, did lots of work in the lab. Um, and my mom's a nurse, so I was conditioned to, to think that like that's the only way. So it wasn't until maybe maybe 10 years ago now, no, longer than that, like shorter than that, like seven years ago, that I kind of woke up that, whoa, like plants, medicine actually comes from plants. And when I was at naturopathic medical school, I actually studied the history of medicine. And it's only been really in the past 100, 150 years that um, with the advent of pharma and surgery and humans just really um, switching more into the energy of control and like, you know, invention that we've lost that whole history. So when I looked at it, um, I was like, okay, so we've had thousands and thousands and thousands of years of, of healing with the earth, like have my oil here. And then like a hundred years of, of this other thing that we've all been conditioned to think is the best. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. So um, I actually can't remember your original question. <laughs> No, this is it. This is really it. There is no original question. <laughs> yeah, so it's fascinating to me that I had to kind of lose my own conditioning around it. And I'm happy to act as a bridge for that now. Like we've talked about that. I love Sh Shannon's my astrologer as well as being like one of my best friends. So like she helped me kind of paint this picture in my head that I'm I'm here to kind of be a bridge between these two worlds because there's so much conditioning and so much dogma on both sides that there has to be some kind of bridge to kind of learn from each other. So definitely a place, a life-saving place for Western medicine and synthetic drugs and surgery. But I believe in, in the importance of bringing the body back to balance. And what I love about the plant medicine that I use with doTERRA is that because their oils come from all over the world, from the indigenous communities where they're meant to be grown and they're grown in a beautifully energetic, sustainable way, um, you know, plants are living creatures. They have energy that they then contribute to us, right? So that's beautiful. So I love just helping people use the plants to tap into their physical body and feel better, but also their mental and emotional bodies, which was huge for me because I've always been pretty healthy physically, but my huge struggle was definitely on the mental emotional side of things and recognizing how much control I have over my thoughts and my emotions. And we're not taught that in school. You know, I was in school for, oh my God, like an embarrassing amount of time. And I was never, ever taught, not even in naturopathic school, that I have full control over my thoughts and my emotions. And those are what drive my results, right? And my actions, the actions that create the results. So it's so exciting for me when, when I help people get that and their brain just goes like, whoa. And that's when the magic starts to happen. So you can't do that with drugs. You can't do that with drugs. You have to do that with, um, and don't get me wrong, there's a place for pharma in mental health, 100%. But if it comes to just um, tapping people in, again, to healing this micro, I love using aromatherapy and scent because again we live in this age where it moves so quickly and you know we're, we're so connected online and not so much in the physical realm anymore that I love just tapping people back into their senses to to really like anchor it in yes awesome well that was exactly 
I was wanting to get to the bridge analogy. That was part of why I asked. So you're totally on my vibe because Laura, part of what Laura does or, you know, how she describes herself is she bridges science and spirit. And it's so, so like palpable. And, you know, it's interesting, just this is a little side note because we're just going to flow with this conversation. Um, I've been feeling like Mercury retrogrades, for example, even though, you know, and I said this earlier today, so this is maybe an echo for those of you who heard this, but I'm really feeling this now. Um, as Laura's giving a, giving us giving me an idea for what kind of tools we can use during those times. So I'm not saying like minimizing everything that you are saying to how mm. to take Mercury retrograde by any means. But what I found with Mercury retrograde, you know how everybody says like technology goes off or technology, yeah. you know, things go wrong with technology. And I never really could figure out what that was. And I've had this big aha moment where it's because we communicate so much through technology and tech and Mercury is this energy of communication. And so we communicate so much through technology that when Mercury is retrograde, it's asking us to communicate in like a, in a connected way to come back to like face to face conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like during Mercury retrograde times where, you know, you hear that stuff like, Oh, my computer broke or this or that. It's like the synthetic side of us, the, the, the computer side of us is getting circuit overload because that's where we plug in all our communication, all our mindset. And so again, I'm just feeling as you're talking, I'm like, the power of the senses to come back to the present. And that was something I talked about earlier about how, you know, Mercury retrograde, what if it's just a time to reconnect to what's real and bring, bring that back into the body. So that was on my mind. Yeah. You've helped me totally reframe Mercury, Mercury, Mercury retrograde. I remember before I kind of met you and I was really into astrology, you know, when people are kind of getting into it and like Mercury retrograde is this, like this bad thing. And I thought it was this bad thing. And you really helped me reframe it as this like, what do you, like the three R's you say? Is that you? Yeah, yeah all, is, all yeah. things, all things re. All yeah, things re, re, re. Yeah, so <laughs> when, when, when it's coming, I'm like, yes, yeah, sweet. Okay, it's time. I can actually slow down and like take a breather, so. Um, yeah, awesome. So like I said, this doesn't, this isn't meant to be a conversation about astrology, yeah. but I know Laura loves astrology and we do, often, yes. this is kind of how our conversations go. So you're just getting like a, a authentic Shannon and Laura chat. So I hope you're all enjoying it. Um, but I really just kind of want to go back to that idea for a, that second that you talked about at the beginning of, you know, we don't necessarily have the pressure to live our dreams. We don't have this pressure, you know, our brains can say to us now, cause we're not, you know, there isn't threats and we don't have to go out and do these things. Like we can just order our Uber eats, as you said it, which is the perfect way of saying it. So we don't have like, there's no fire under us to go out and, and do something. And what I'm really feeling, this is this, why I've cultivated this whole event is to get a fire going from under us. So um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how reconnecting to nature or reconnecting to these tools from the earth and our bodies can really help to like cultivate that that drive yeah um so I think whether you so the way I try to teach people is that the whole point of going on a journey like I'm just going to use oils as my example because just for sake of time and example what it does is it forces you to slow down and start listening to what your body is is saying to you right so I always say to someone maybe lavender will help you sleep but maybe it won't Maybe we'll have to try cedarwood, but that's that's cool because that's you listening to your body and being like, my body actually isn't responding to this. Let's try this one, and it does, and you get to learn what your body is asking for you. Same thing when I'm helping people with their mindset and their mind work. I've kind of, I kind of weave in and out with coaching just because I do so much self coaching on myself, but it really becomes an exercise in watching your brain and um, learning what healthy discomfort is and non-healthy discomfort is. So I think a lot of people sit in like self-loathing and shame and, um, you know, they try one thing and it doesn't work and they, they sit in that discomfort versus putting themselves out there again. And if you learn that these are just, this is just how your brain is wired to um, help you survive on earth and you're, you're safe and you can try it again. And it's worth that short-term discomfort to get to the long-term pleasure. Um, and don't give in to the short-term pleasure of like buffering with Netflix or, you know, food or whatever you do. It's so worth it. So it's, it just becomes an exercise in learning to listen and watch, listen and watch yourself, like listen to your body and watch your brain. And um, it's a journey. But once, once it clicks, you can't ever go back to not wanting to show up for yourself. 
and you're willing to sit in that discomfort for as long as it takes to get there because you know it's going to be worth it. I love it. And when we were kind of brainstorming back and forth about some of your ideas uh, for what you wanted to share, I, I took some notes and I really love one of the, it's a it's a quote of you from a voice message that you <laughs> sent me. So I'm going to share. Quote it. Worthy. I love what it says. And it says, you know, that what's going to heal the world is people getting out of their own ways and acting on what they're being called to do despite the fear. And mm -hmm. like, that just hits home to me because we are going to be afraid. And that's a big uh, theme that I really want to convey today is like, it's not like the world is now all of a sudden, woo, it's like perfect now. Everything's great. But on that energetic perspective, there are big shifts happening. That doesn't mean that the physical has caught up, yeah. but so we're shifting on that energetic perspective, but we're still asking to show up out there in the concrete of the old substructure. And I think that, you know, that's scary. <laughs> It's scary. And then that's why I think it's important to surround yourself with people who are doing the work. Right. And that's why this is such a beautiful thing that you've put together because you realize that you're not alone. And like, I have an entrepreneurial heart and I, I work for myself, but it was really important for me. I realized to have this team I've created in doTERRA and work in that bigger umbrella of something where a whole bunch of people are working towards a common goal. Because even in my fear, I know that there's people that have my back and who I can turn to as an, as an example for someone that's gone before me and survived. So if they can do it, I can do it kind of thing. And I love our chats together because, you know, you know, sometimes we'll complain about stuff, but we always, it always circles back to like new ideas dropping in or motivating each other in some new way. And that's just because we're both doing the work. So surrounding yourself with a group of people doing the work is super important. Totally. And then surrounding yourself with tools, like, yeah pure essential oils, like my, my soils, my essential oils of choice are doTERRA and not even just, well, because of where they come from and the high quality of them, but also because I'm on Laura's team and like, I don't want to offend anybody because I, I love everybody and we're all friends, but like Laura's global team of doTERRA is something very, very special. So um, you can connect with Laura at drlaurahughes.com, drlaurahughes on Instagram. Um, like I said, I'm going to post out all the links and I've got, I think I got them in the description of this video as well. And I've got them on Facebook. So I've tagged Laura on Facebook. So, you know, you could let her know, but I wanted to read you some of the comments. Uh, Ashley says, I love what you were saying. It's a hundred percent truth. Plant medicine is the oldest medicine. And I'm so happy that people are opening up to them again. Haley says that she loves that with an awesome thumbs up. There's a lot of like, yeses and exactly. And um, so you rock. And I just, is there anything else you want to say before? Or we we call it a day well we call it the session we still yeah no I'm like I could talk about this forever so thank you so much for hosting me and um yeah it's so great to be here yes awesome well pleasure's all mine and thank you for just doing the work out there because you are such a you're such a a good Capricorn energy in the world <laughs> with your Capricorn rising, but we're all Capricorns. We're all, all the signs. Um, but yeah, I just love you and appreciate you. And thanks everybody who's watching and I'll be back in 10 yes. minutes with our next guest. Awesome. Thanks.